Morning Sunshines, I'm going to show you all today how you can play Pokemon TCG Pocket on your PC. This is a holy grail people have been hoping to find because emulators do not work for this game. They just straight up crash upon launching. You can't get past the, the age screen. And uh, as you can see here, me, I'm playing this on my PC completely with mouse. You can even see the mouse there with no issues at all. And that means you're gonna be able to do battles. You're gonna be able to do everything. You're not going to have to worry about battery on your phone. You're not gonna have to worry about hardware requirements to run an emulator because what we're gonna be doing is actually straight up using our phone via our PC. Very, very handy. This is going to be extremely beneficial to anybody who has no idea about this stuff and is interested in getting into content creation. There's going to be a lot of cool new content creators coming out of this for anyone who wants to do content on any anything on your phone, actually. So Pokemon Go is a good option and Pokemon TCG Pocket when that comes out. Uh, this is just going to open that gateway for all of everybody watching this video. The premise of this video is going to assume people have been able to get the APK for Pokemon TCG Pocket onto their phone. I do have a video guide that I did yesterday, an updated version that will allow you to gain access to the game early before the end of October, like right now, and it only takes a couple of minutes to do that. So I will leave that video linked down below for anyone who does not have Pokemon TCG Pocket yet. You will need to get that going on your phone first uh, in order to be able to secure obviously to be able to play it at all. So uh, go ahead and check that out if you haven't done that stage yet and you want to play this on your PC. So two hardware things you're going to need, but you're already going to have, is of course a USB cable for your phone and your phone, all right? It makes sense, right? So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the software requirements here. And the only software requirement is this. I've linked this down below in the description of the video. It's called SCRCPY. Uh, from the link, you should be able to just go straight ahead and hit that green download button. And you're going to end up downloading a zip file right there. The zip file looks like this. Uh, you're just gonna have to extract the main folder there onto your desktop. And on your desktop, this is what it looks like when you open it. It. All this should take about two seconds and you're going to see SCRCPY down there, a little green icon beside it. But first, we got to do something with our phone before we open this program. Now, folks, on your phone, go into your settings right there. Go down to the last thing here, which is about phone. You guys are should not have developer options yet, but we're about to get that for you, folks. About phone should be the last thing on your phone there. Go into about phone, go down to software information, click on that one, and then go over to build number on the list and click that five times. I think it's five folks. And then that will activate developer mode for everyone. And uh, it'll say it right there on a little message you just saw pop up for me there as well. It will tell you how many times you need to click it before you can activate it. After that, you're gonna have developer options appear here in your settings list. Go in there. Go down just a little bit to USB debugging. And folks, you're gonna to wanna to activate that. That's gonna be off. You're gonna to wanna to activate it. And hopefully you'll get a message that appears saying, remember this PC, remember USB debugging for this computer. Say yes to that, hit that and say yes to that. If not, just switch it off and switch it on again. And hopefully you will get the message once again that says that. Cause you wanna keep that on so you don't have to activate this switch every time you wanna do what I'm about to show you. Now folks, go ahead and connect your phone to your PC with the USB cable and allow anything that it asks to allow, such as the debugging or the file sharing or anything like that. Then go over here and open up the SCRCPY file that we just downloaded a second ago. And voila, your phone screen will appear on your PC, which means you are now using your phone on your PC with a mouse. You can use your mouse. So, so convenient, so handy. You can, of course, also use your keyboard. Absolutely. And, uh, that's that. I mean, that's it. Now you can now you can play your Pokemon TCGB app on your on your computer. No worries about battery. <laughs> no worries about uh, your next strain. You can just play for as much as you can. And now you can stream it if you're using OSB like I am. You can make content now with your phone. Of course, this applies to absolutely anything you want to do on your phone. So there you go. No emulators. Uh, just straight up the phone that you have and no crash issues, no VPNs, no nothing needed. 
Enjoy. Well, folks, that's absolutely everything you need to know. Hopefully this guide helps everyone discover this holy grail of just using your phone on your PC like this. Super, super cool, super duper. Great for making content, great for saving, uh, just the hassle on having the phone. Now, just to keep in mind, folks, uh, this does still, of course, use your phone like normal. So uh, hopefully your charging is fast enough. If you have like a really old phone and your battery's like out of whack, uh, this may of course still wear through your battery a little bit and it may heat up your phone and stuff But it's just like normal right just like your if as if you were using it in your hand So it's exactly the same situation there But this will of course prolong the time frame people can just play It will also make it a lot more comfortable to be able to just do this on your on your computer just sitting at your chair and uh, Neck wise as well not having to hold not having to look down all that stuff. So very very convenient all right, enjoy that, folks. Thanks for watching. And there is the video instructions on how to actually get Pokemon TCG Pocket on your phone early anyway for anyone who doesn't know how to do that part yet. Go check that out, and you'll be able to start playing within a matter of minutes. Enjoy. Till then, guys. Bye.